Welcome back to other decide to have a kid and we are back playing some more Sev Tech Ages. And <clears throat> I got all organized and stuff in the meantime because I was pumped and ready and excited for age number one. So I did a little rebuilding. Um, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm digging this pack so much. I know this playthrough is going to go for a while. <clears throat> And so with that being said, I wanted to do a very Minecraft style build. And so I went with a much more modular build. So you can see I tore the old house down and really went with a Minecraft themed modular build that I plan on kind of expanding out over this entire island. That's the goal. Now, how much I actually get done, we'll see. Since I started the back of my house up against the water and the front of my house, like right here on the edge. <clears throat> but we can build out and around and all that fun stuff. So I'm kind of digging on the look of it. It's nothing super special, but I wanted to go with the more of a like legit build style instead of just kind of going how I feel at the moment. And so I went with modular. And if you don't know what modular is, it's basically like chunk by chunk by chunk. So each like area is like a basically three by three within. So a five by five, however you want to look at it. And everything is just done in five by five areas. So yeah, that's, that's it. You probably already knew that, but I just wanted to explain, uh, kind of what <clears throat> I've been doing with the build. So, oh yeah. <laughs> the reason I actually ended up torn, tearing it all down was I was tearing down all the, um, totems because of all that climbing and stuff I kept doing. And then I just put one totem in the middle of this. So then I get kind of, I get speed three when I'm in the house and kind of run around and get stuff done quickly. And I might put a couple more in, but right now the only one is just a center pole right here. That's the only one. And I kind of like the fact that it's kind of like got the hole and like it goes through the next, you know, floor and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I dig the feel of it, but everything's organized. My, my junk cart over here, it's no longer junk cart. It's got a couple items in it and it's all, it's mostly unidentified stuff. Um, these ones are here. I don't have a need for the oak logs yet. Um, slate, not necessarily, and just stuff I don't really need at the moment. So. Um, everything else is pretty well organized. I'm getting a ton of feathers and eggs, as you can see, just tons and tons and tons of those. And then basically I've just got a couple drawers set up for random things. Uh, auto smelting all my food automatically. I did go and make myself another one of those, uh, burning whoppers or whatever they're called. And then basically just auto smelt my food whenever I get it. And then I've just got drawers for useful items. And over here is just like building stuff. This is mob drops over here. And this is kind of like tools and whatnot. So, so that's kind of where we are. And when we left off, we had just created our crafting table. Oh, a crafting table. And I basically took, because I know I'm not going to be using this primal chest anymore. I kind of retired the primal chest with all the rest of my retired items. And I'll probably end up doing something that with that, but that right now is just the retired chest. That's what that is. And then uh, the three books that we have, Totem, and I think this is, uh, yeah, Materials and You, and then also um, Better with Mods Manual. So just kind of got those hanging, and this is where we are. I haven't made another Whopper for this one yet, um, but we probably will pretty soon. But anyways, without further ado, we're going to just dig right into today's episode. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the advancements. So as we know, we finished everything except for the boss battle here. I still don't have armor, so I'm not going to even try a boss battle until I get some better armor. But we can take a look at age one. And so apparently, and I didn't realize at the time, I, I may have mentioned it at the end, but we've already got a crafting table and a chest. And so we've already got a couple accomplishments done. And there's a couple I've been looking into uh, prior to this episode, like getting ready for the episode. And it's things like the aqueduct, which we could potentially move water up here because I do, <laughs> I want to put a farm on top of my roof. I've always done farms like off in the distance and I thought it would be kind of cool to do like a little modular farm off to the side. Um, like, I don't know, somewhere over here where I can just kind of branch off like this way and just put like a farm right here and uh, kind of do that. And so I thought the aqueducts might be useful for that. However, from what I can tell the aqueducts, there's a certain block you need to actually bring water up a level and I don't have that yet. So that's kind of out of the question at the moment, but uh, channels we know we can do. This is the one I want to start with, stirring the pot. So I can make things like wheat and leather a whole lot quicker. So that is the first thing we're going to look into today is stirring the pot. And I believe it's just called a pot, stirring pot, actually. I believe that's the name of it. Um, maybe not. Thought I looked at the name of it. 
It is a wooden basin. <laughs> yeah, that's something like a pot. So the wooden basin, it's pretty cheap. Uh, just a couple uh, pieces of wood and a couple sticks. So I should have everything we need. Um, I, whoa, I'm actually low on sticks. Oh, I just used them to make a whole bunch of torches, that's why. Um, let's go ahead and take these two and just go make a couple sticks real quick. I would break leaves, but I want some of my trees to start growing back because of all the building I've been doing, I've kind of killed all my trees off. So I kind of want to let them, oh, look at this. Didn't even have to, got sticks right there. Perfect. And I've got wood on me, yes I do, cool. So let's go make ourselves a wooden basin and get this set up. Now I know I'm gonna need water for this. I don't know 100% sure where I wanna put it. Um, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. You, you, and you. And we've got our wooden basin, cool. So that achievement is complete. Now I'm thinking maybe we'll go upstairs with this somewhere up here like maybe right here now if i take my oh, my bladder is empty so we'll go fill this bad boy up i don't know if i need to keep adding water i don't i'm not 100 percent sure but if i do i can just move this guy up there real quick but i do want to kind of test it out first because i'm not 100 percent sure how it works i just know that it kind of substitutes um like the water bladder like it substitutes for the water bladder so all the recipes are the same just a little bit different, I guess. <laughs> Did that make any sense? Same but different? Like, okay, here we go. So we're gonna put the water in there. Ooh, that takes a lot more water than that, I bet. Let's go grab our barrel here. And we'll take it upstairs. Oh, come here, there we go. We'll take this upstairs. This is where that speed three boost is really gonna help. <clears throat> there we go. Meow. So I guess we'll just put you right here for right now. And we'll go boop, 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 boop. Okay, so it takes three, it takes three, that's not bad. Now we're gonna go grab some leather, or some pelts, and I got some salt right here, because I wanna like test this basically making leather, for the most part. Um, Where's my buffalo? Buffalo hide I think gives me the biggest yield. And where's my knife, there's my knife. I believe buffalo hide gives you the most amount of leather believe and so all we gotta do is before it was like you know the the raw hide which we're about to get right now oh yeah that does give me six okay that's a ton of leather right there it would be this this and this right to get one and then i'd have to keep filling this up however <clears throat> if i look up the recipe for um salted hide there's another recipe and it's in here it's three of these with some salt to get three of those. So it's one salt and three of those. So we'll put one salt in, three of those in, and then I think I have to do this with the bare hand, and you just stir. And I don't know how many times I gotta stir. And but there we go, bingo bango, and now we've got our three hides. That is pretty awesome. And it looks like not 100% sure. Yeah, so it'll still work. So one bucket is all you need. I can do up to three buckets at a time. So I can do like nine pieces of leather pretty quickly like this. So I'm, I'm digging that concept right there. And then if I just kind of wait for the rain and stuff like that, this barrel will continue to fill up just like um, I think the ex nihilo barrels do when they're out in the rain. And there we go. And then I can just fill you back up using my fluid blotter. Like I so. Perfect. Now, I did <coughs> happen to move most of my, um, most of these guys outside. Oh, wait, not you. Because I was using them for decoration. <laughs> so I'm going to have to move some more back inside. But for right now, I'm just going to run around and hang them out here like this. Because why not, right? It doesn't make a huge difference where I dry out these things. I just need to dry them out. There we go. Yeah, so they're kind of all around the house and not a big deal. There we go. So those are dry out and we'll get those leather. And so I think that's pretty awesome. That That's so much easier than filling up one water bladder at a time. That's for dang sure. And now if I can just figure out a way to get, you know, water up here, um, like from the ocean, that would be 
absolutely marvelous. But I'm going to go ahead and put my salt back because today's episode is not about making leather. I just wanted to make that basin and we have done it. So, uh, yeah, let's go put raw hides. We'll put them in the mob drops because it just kind of makes sense. And we'll put our sticks in here and planks in there. And we'll put that knife back until we might need it again. So we've got that done. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, um, the channel is a great way to transport liquids from tanks to and other sources. When placing down the channel, uh, follow the arrow on top right. So making a channel and a faucet may not be a bad idea. And I can put that barrel up above one. Ooh, let's do that. So channel, I'm pretty sure it's just, yeah, a couple porcelain bricks, which is a couple unfired porcelain, which is bone meal, clay, and flint. Easy to do. So let me grab some gravel real quick. Some clay and bone meals over here. We're gonna need, well, three for the faucet, five for that, so we're gonna need eight total. And I'm gonna need eight flint, which means I'm gonna need a little more gravel. Oh, and I'm gonna need this guy right here. No, not you, you and you. So there's four flint there. Let's go find ourselves more gravel. Is there a way to make gravel? Just kind of curious about that. Uh, gravel, 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 gravel. Um, straining. Oh, you can strain. Oh, but that's, these are all unfamiliar. Oh, there we go, a survivalist strainer. Uh, the dense one, collects general small size items, requires a straining base. Well, heck, is that a recipe? Is that one of the achievements by any chance right now? Um, it's not. So I don't, I don't want to get too far ahead. I don't want to start jumping ahead to things I might need later. So let's kind of come back to the strainer. I can go find some gravel. I only need like five more pieces, I think, or four more actually. And I've got this little hole over here that still has some gravel in it from the very, very beginning. Uh, let's see. Well, okay. I guess I didn't have enough gravel right here. Is there any more? That's any more gravel around here. Any more gravel than around here. Um, tons of other material, but I'm not seeing gravel. Let's look inside the pond. I saw a shark in here earlier, so I gotta be careful. Yeah, he's still hiding over there. Hey, Mr. Shark. Yeah, come over here so I can kill you real quick. There we go. Come on. Come on. Get over here. Get over here. He keeps going down. I got to wait for him to come back up. There we go. All right. Cool. Um, no. Well, there's some gravel right there. What a bad place to go get gravel. I only need, what, two more? One more? One more. Let's go get a piece of gravel underwater. That's the smart way to do it. Smart and efficient, right? Going swimming to go get some gravel. All right, cool. And I've got a monster in here from... <laughs> so that's where my kiln and stuff were at. We're down in that area. And uh, I didn't really fill it in. And I hadn't thought about it at the time. But now monsters are growing down there. And so how did a stick it on top of this? I had that happen on one of the other ones too. I don't know how that happened, but... Now we've got those, so we can go make our uh, porcelain. This takes a minute, but this is, I was thinking about this as I was doing this, right? Because like it eats up quite a bit of hunger. This is kind of a cheaty way to get your nutrition up, I would say, because I can just come out here and grind out my hunger like that. And right now I need grain, so let me grab the bread. And I can just sit here and cheat out, cheese out, just make up a whole bunch of food and constantly grind. Like I don't even have to have items in here. It doesn't even have to be useful. I can just keep hitting this lever and it's gonna keep uh, grinding down my nutrition, or not my nutrition, my uh, saturation and getting my hunger haunches down. And yeah, I mean, it's, it'd be an easy way to get them up, so. But. Almost there. How many? I think I've made three so far. I hate that it doesn't come out on just one side. 
I tried putting a chest next to it and that didn't seem to work. So I don't know if there's a way to do it or not. But at the bright side, I'm actually getting my nutrition squared away because after my death, it uh, it really took a hit on my nutrition. But get it back up. Now I gotta switch over to veggies. So let's switch to veggies. And this thing is so loud. Uh, seven, I need one more, okay. That I wish it wasn't quite as loud. I don't mind the ticking sound from the handle, but the, the, the sound of like, uh, like a minecart is just really, really loud. All right, cool. Now I need to, I'm gonna have to sub these guys out real quick. So you're gonna go right here. Can I, no, I can't pick you up. Hey, give me that back. Give me, my, <laughs> give me that. Dang hopper, stealing my stuff. All right, cool. So we'll take you, put you right there, and we'll take the porcelain clay and wait till that's all cooked up. Then we'll be able to make a faucet and also the channel, and then we'll be able to um, hopefully pump the water from the barrel straight into, is that not cooking? There it goes. Did it go somewhere? Did it go in my inventory? I don't... Where's the thing at? Where did that go? I see a two. Oh, they're in the hopper. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So, let me... Let me take... I think this is wheat right here. There we go. Cool. Or the flower, whatever it is. So, this isn't taking too long. But I did happen to notice furnace. Is the furnace just a regular recipe? Because if that's the case, this is just silly. Furnace is just a regular. I got five on me, six, seven, eight. Why in the world do I not just do this? A furnace, okay. So the furnace, I'll just place, well, I guess. I guess we'll just place it right here, just like that. And I've got charcoal in here, so I can put you in there. And then let's smut up the rest of those. Yeah, that's gonna be much quicker, I think. I think that's gonna be quite a bit quicker. Okay, and let me put that flower back in there. Is that gonna be quicker? Maybe about the same amount of time. Maybe it's not much quicker. Let me put one over here then. And just let them both go at the same time. Maybe it's the same, maybe it's different. I can't really tell. It doesn't seem to be overly distinguishable. However, now those items are gonna go there again. There we go. There we go, okay. So, faucet and channel. All right, so let's try this. Let's get a plank here. And let's see if we, oh, you know what? I can put that shark meat in here and let it do its thing. So we just have kind of food. Why didn't you all go in there? What did I put in instead? There we go. So let's try this. So we'll put a plank right here and we'll take you and put you right here. And we'll put a faucet. Hey, give me that back. Hey, give me my item back. Thank you. Um, put you right there. Are you gonna have to be one higher? I think you're gonna have to be one higher, aren't you? Okay. Let's see. I can't, I keep wanting to craft planks using wood, but I still have to chop it up to do that. So that's like a no-go. But let's see. I'm not gonna like the look of this for right now, but this is just proof of theory. Proof of concept. Put you there, you there, and then we'll put you there. And if I put a faucet on you and go like that, perfect. And it fills. Awesome. That'll work well. That'll work for right now, at least. I could, I just noticed that there is the barrel and the barrel extension right here. So I could look at it making the barrel, which I'm sure is just going to be clay, which I now have 
Well, I've got 14 on me. That might be enough. Let's see if that's a barrel. That is not a barrel. That is an unfired clay bowl. Okay, let's look up the barrel. Unfired clay barrel. Okay, five like that, or sorry, six like that, and then the extension is six like that. Okay. That's an interesting recipe for a barrel, but I ain't complaining. And we'll do the extension real quick. We'll throw, can I make tiny? I, let's just see if I can make tiny. I can make tiny coal, cool. So we'll do that. Put you in there. You won't cook in there, but I bet you'll cook in the kiln now. Let's see. Yeah, you'll cook in the kiln, okay, cool. So then we'll cook that guy up and maybe we'll try filling that one up. I think that holds a little more water. I believe these barrels hold a little more water. I didn't, I haven't gotten much use out of them um, in the other places I've seen them. So I'm not 100% sure, but I believe they're a little more useful. And thank you. There we go. So if I put you behind it, like so. And my axe is dead. Um, let me go grab a, oops couple pieces of cobblestone. I think it's funny that it's three pieces of cobble to fix a stone tool, which is fine for like a stone axe and stone pickaxe, but it only takes two stone to make a sword and it takes one stone to make a, um, uh, what's it called? A shovel, but it's still three to fix it. Kind of funny in that sense. All right, let's transfer this water over. And yeah, I think this holds a lot more. Oh, look at that. Perfect time to rain. Now, I don't know if these barrels collect water too, but kind of an excellent time for that to happen. That was kind of funny. Good timing, good timing. And I think that's a couple of achievements we got done. Cool. Now, a hoe. I think this is super simple. Uh, one, two for a hoe. And two sticks. Three sticks. Two sticks. So there we go. That. And a hoe. And there we go. Now, I was watching something. And it basically said that the hoe has some uses. You can make these guys. The brush scythe. And there's like another one. Maybe it's not available. Um... But the brush scythe basically chops weeds and flowers. You just get the vanilla drops. You don't get any more of those stinking string things. These, the, the plant twine fiber thingy majigs. You don't get those anymore. So I kind of want to do that, which means I'm going to need two string and a couple more sticks. And then I can make the hoe into that guy. And I can start clearing out areas and not getting all the uh, the other stuff. So, like, if I clear out this grass right here, it clears out a huge area, but I only get, like, vanilla drops. If I left-click, apparently, I still get those. But if I right-click, I only get vanilla drops, I think. But it covers a pretty large area. So, that's cool. But there is one that I believe we're... Oh, oh, hey. Oh, nice shot, man. Hey, you're not a yellow belt anymore. Hey, 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 you chill. Go away. I was trying to go to sleep. Um, yeah, I don't care about the water that much. The dude's a blue belt now. I wonder if they evolve with the ages. Cause that dude sure was a blue uh, blue belt right now, and he was a yellow belt before. I don't know if that's just me looking too much into it, but I'm almost certain that that was the case. Um, let's go with vegetables, since I don't have any grains on me right now. So yeah, so that's the scythe, and then I believe there's I think there's another scythe, right? Um, let me see. There's this one right here. Tree scythe. That's the one I want. And that's with an axe. Okay. That's why I couldn't look up that recipe. So this should just give me the vanilla drops without all the sticks. That would be outstanding. So I really want to test this theory out real quick and see if this works. Um, 
I have my retired axe over here. I don't really care about retiring these tools so much. I wonder if I can craft it using a broken tool. I don't know. I doubt it, but if I can kind of recycle tools, that'd be awesome. Ah, I can. Okay, cool. And so let's go try this out on a tree that is over here. So tree scythe. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Can I use you to chop? No, you're really slow. But I can still use you to clear a tree out. That's kind of cool. So hanging leaves or the big trees when I'm trying to find the wood inside of them. That's excellent. Absolutely excellent. Oh, this is a good day. This is a good day. We're starting to get some cool stuff. Now, I'm not chopping trees or anything like that right now. So these can go back in the tool bin. And you can go back in there. Uh, you are a drop over there. This has been my throwaway window because I don't ever walk over there. Um, let's put everything where it should be. You are a drop. I guess I can hold on to the wood. That's okay. I don't need tree saplings. I got so many of those from all the building I've been doing. Um, put you back in there. Stone grill. I guess I can put you back. Um, you go right there for right now. And put the grill back down there. Perfect. And I guess I'll hold... Nope. I can put dirt in here. There we go. Let's just organize that chest. There we go. And clay, I put you in the useful one because I consider you useful. And there we go. Organized. Cool. I'm trying as hard as I can to stay organized. So, um, next couple things I want to take a look at. Getting some medals. I want to get some medals. Um, air... Error 404, heart not found. Find a surface sample and dig for tin. Locate Y8 to 68 and called cassiterite or tealite. No, surface samples will unhide in already explored areas. Okay, that's cool. And copper and locate some coal. Okay, cool. Um, what do we have? Crunchy pillows. Is your current sleeping situation not good enough? Throw some leaves on top of hay to make a leaf bed interesting although how's my hay doing or how's my wheat doing that's all gone let's go get some let's try making a leafy crunchy leafy bed and the farm is working quite nicely it's doing its thing getting plenty of useful materials like potatoes and wheat and cotton and uh, beetroot and coffee beans and all sorts of fun stuff but right now we're just in here for the wheat. <coughs> so, wheat in, did it say leaves? I think it said leaves, right? I still have leaves in one of these chests. I think it was in the building materials chest, I believe. Let's see. Yes, I do. So, one, two, three. So, well, let's look this up. Uh, bed, there it is. Bed of straw and leaves. Oh, it's hay bales, okay. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm one short. Um, I know I've got a piece of hay around here somewhere. Hey! Don't do that. You got you got to be kidding me. I'm missing one piece of hay. I just turned all my other hay into um, wheat flour so I can make bread. Let me just go grab some bone meal real quick. Boop. Grab a couple pieces of bone meal. I've got so much bone meal now. Once I found that uh, deserted, or not deserted, but like dinosaur skeleton or whatever, I I don't think I will ever need uh, bone meal again. All right, there we go. So now we've got enough to make a bed. I don't really know if there's gonna, oh, I just picked up my trash. No, don't do that. Silly mistakes. Okay, so there's you. You go like this and a bed. Where's my bedroom? My bedroom is going to be upstairs. We're going to make my bedroom um, this corner over here. This is going to be my bed. So if I put you down, you can only sleep at night. Cool. Well, we got a bed of leaves and hay. Interesting. But achievement done. So all good. Age one seems to be kind of hauling right now. Um, but yes, materials. So I haven't noticed any on this island. So let me tell you, it says 
you'll see deposits on the surface. And I have not noticed any on this island, but I do want to kind of go explore a little bit because if we can find some, then what I can do is um, kind of venture out. Oh, I see, I didn't even see this before. So this is a deposit right here. And it is a tin cluster. Was that one of the ones we were looking for? Tin, yeah. So in this chunk right here. Now, unfortunately, I can't do my F9 because I have NEI turn. You know what, let me turn NEI back on. NEI causes issues, and so I disable it. But, okay, so it was right here. So the chunk, I can't tell right here. Oh, like I'm right on the corner of it. Okay, cool. So let's put a marker. Um, I, just, I don't know. Um, I just want to go down in the middle of this thing and kind of dig down and see if we can find this uh, cluster and see if we can get some stuff. So I guess I'll kind of remember it's this tree right here. Like we're literally right standing on the corner of it. So this shouldn't be too hard. So it's going to be in the middle of this chunk right here. And I know this block is the corner one. Um, here, we'll do this for right now. There, it's in this chunk. Okay. I guess I can just dig down. I guess, yeah. So there's another one of those clusters right there. Okay, cool. I, had, I hadn't really looked for them yet. So uh, two, three, four. So right in the middle. And then two, three, four. So let's go down here, right in the middle. Never dig straight down. Never dig straight down. Never dig straight down. Um, I kind of want to just dig down to bedrock and like do some like little tunnels out and just kind of probe to see if we can find it. Um, I don't know what my Y depth is. So basically I'm just going to test out like this and see if we can find some of this tin. Now this might take a while because you never know where exactly it's gonna be. It might actually be in one of these little corners right here and you just don't even know. But we're gonna go find our first material. I did set up the auto smelter. Um, one, two, three, let's do every four. Right, so one, two, three, four, okay. And let's just see if we can find this tin. This will be awesome. Big progressions. We're getting materials. Now, I don't know what I'm going to use tin for yet. Because I don't have a lot of recipes and stuff to make. So, it'll just be kind of a... Is that... Is that limestone? I think that might be limestone. Alright, so two, three... Oh, I'm still going to fall through something. One, two, three, four. So I want to dig right there. Why is there dirt down here? Usually if there's dirt, there's like a cave I'm going to fall into. And my pick's almost done too. Although I've been picking up cobblestone, so that shouldn't be an issue. We're going to find this tin. We're going to find it. Is that a cave? Oh, that's a cave. Interesting. Don't want to be messing around with caves right now. Okay, so let's go a little bit deeper. That's one, two, three, four. Right, one, two, three, four. This is my digging one, yep. So hopefully we can, oh yeah, it finally broke. I like that it doesn't break, it just stops working for a second. So then you can repair it and you don't have to pay too close attention to that. That's actually kind of cool to me. But anyways, we are going to find this tin. That's that cave again. I kind of want to go. Oh, okay. I kind of want, I have some torches on me. I can go light this area up a little bit. I want, I do want to venture out a little bit. Oh, it's like a, oh, wow. It's a ravine. Ooh, it's a huge ravine. Okay. Let me grab my torches. I've got some on me. That uh, doesn't seem to light much up now, does it? No, I'm not seeing any visible ores or anything like that. I'm seeing white blocks. What are those white blocks anyways? Oh, they're marble. Okay. Um, 
See, there's a little cluster right there, I think. Or that might be a, a stone. I don't know. Let's... We'll come back. and we'll, we'll visit this later. Two, three, four. Foot level. Eye level. Okay, cool. So, six every time. This tin. We're going to find it. It's going to be found eventually. There's, there's no way to avoid it being found. I don't even have to dig that side anymore because I know that's the ravine. And now that's the ravine too. Okay. Two, three, four, five. And gravel. Cool. Six. It's always good to find a little extra gravel. It's like my only way to get flint right now. By crafting it up. Although I have gotten it from digging dirt. So I don't know how that works, but... I don't know how digging dirt gets me flint, but... I don't like not knowing my Y level. Three, four, five, six. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, let's dig this way first. Of course, you're right under a whole bunch of gravel. Let me put a torch right here. There we go. I'm, I would have hoped we would have found... Perfect. Um, oh, you got to be kidding me. Uh, okay. So anyways, I would have hoped we would have found it by now, but apparently I'm not having very good luck finding this tin. Okay. What do you two? Ah. This can be a long grind. All right, and and that's just a hole there. And I guess we'll just do this. Hey, what? What just happened? Okay, we're not really quite to. The oh, right there, I see it. Um. Let's do this. Let's light this area up. Oh my goodness, that's huge. That is huge. That's not a vein. That's a... I don't know what you want to call that. That's huge. Um, let me get some cobble out here. And create a little cobble staircase. Like so. Um, there we go. So this has to be the tin, right? I mean, there's just nothing else that it could possibly could be, right? Let's light this area up to make sure we're not getting mobified. Wow, these torches suck. I see you, zombie. Or skeleton, or whatever you are. I thought you were a zombie, but then I heard clickety-clack. No, it's a zombie. Okay. You can't mess with me. You can't mess with me. Don't you know who I am? I'm the great zombie slayer. Get away. All right, cool. And I already have a helmet. That one's worse. So, all right. So I guess we shall. Is that what that is? Tin. Okay. Um, this is where Tinker's tools would really come in handy. But that's okay. We can just get a little bit to start. At least I know where it's at. Obviously, I don't have a regular mine down here, but it's okay. I th I remember seeing something where you can make a staircase. I don't know if it's with the knife. I'm going to go check the work blade out real quick and do that. Because um, I believe you can create a stair... Like, not a staircase, um, a ladder. If I can do a ladder up... I'm going to have to dig myself all the way back down here, but... Oh my goodness, this is going to take... Yeah, this is going to take forever. Okay, but at least I know where I'm going. And I know that we actually have a, uh, a, a tin patch, which is cool. So we've got some materials now, and that's awesome. Now we just got to go find some other materials like copper and stuff like that too. But this is, this is pretty exciting. And it looks like it's nighttime out. It's pretty dark in this hole right here. Okay, cool. So there's... 
you and yes it is night out so let's get back let's go text out our new bed and see how comfy it is and then i'm gonna grab my work blade and see if i can figure out this whole stair thing or a ladder thing because i'm i don't remember where i saw it at but i saw uh carvings of ladders in like the wall and i think it might be with the work blade i'm not sure let me see if there's yeah, it's this right here. Like, it's a stone ladder block, but I don't know how to get it. Um, is it worth the work blade? Let's go get our work blade and see if that's what it is. Or maybe I'll have to have an iron, like a, a metal one. But let's go test this out real quick. Um, can I... Ah, there it is. Shift right click. not working on that one it's not working on some but I'm off the ground so I'm definitely going up well let's go try this hole out again and see if this works because if that's the case then I can get up and down pretty easily and okay so let's try this real quick as we go down so if I, well, that was unexpected and rude. How did that even happen? How in the world did that even happen? There was no creeper around. He just fell in my hole with me. I, in all my time of playing Minecraft, I've never had a creeper just drop in a hole that I was working in. That is almost funny. Like I'm almost not even upset by how funny that was. Um, a little annoyed, but still funny. Uh, okay, so let's let's try this. Uh, let's see. I can hear it clicking. It's just not like rendering, maybe. Okay, you gotta click it a couple times sometimes. Okay. interesting but i can climb up right okay that's really cool i can just make freaking ladders wherever i go i don't need to like actually bring some with me that is sweet i wonder if it's because i've got my fancy settings off i want to check that out real quick um video settings graphics fancy and smooth lighting maximum ah that's what it is. Okay. It's just the way I've got it textured right now. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't need to go get more of this right now. I just wanted to test this theory out, but that's really interesting. You just hold right click until it goes. Cool. So we've got ladders. That's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. All right. <clears throat> so let's finish this. I wonder if you can do them in the dirt too. I have a feeling you probably can't do it in the dirt, but I'm going to try. Oh, what was that? Did I turn it into a half slab? Well, that's strange. It's like a dirt stair. Um, I'm learning all sorts of new stuff right now. I'm actually kind of digging on this uh, lesson that I'm, I'm learning right now. Learning all sorts of new stuff. All right, cool. So apparently this is going to be our, a mine for, for right now. Since that creeper was nice enough to blow it up for me. All right, cool. So we got some tin. Let's go try to smelt this tin up. And I'm not sure if... Well, how this stuff... What is the uses? I, I, that's what I should probably check is the uses. Um, the crusher will give me tin dust. Um, another crusher, quartz grindstone, smelting. Smelting gives me what looks to be an ingot? Squeezer, mechanical squeezer. Um, all sorts of interesting stuff, but I don't see actual smelting. 
So that makes me think that I can't extra smelt it. I'm going to have to crush it. Let's go throw this in the crusher and see if that works. Actually, you know what? We got a smelter right there. I haven't made the casting base or anything like that yet, but we sure can test this out. I don't know if tiny coal works in this either. So we're about to learn something new. Does tiny coal work? It's got fire. It seems to work. Sweet. That makes me want to hurry up and make another <laughs> faucet. And so we can get some ingots. Because I don't know what was the achievement. Um, Tin. So I, I'm thinking probably an ingot. So I'm going to need to make an ingot cast. How am I going to make an ingot cast? Hmm. I mean, if I can smelt it up. Oh, there it goes. Yep, three ingots worth. Um, oh, I can probably do it with brick. But I can't even make cast. I can make a casting basin. Um, there's a porcelain casting basin and then a regular casting basin and a casting channel. Uh, cast items using molten metals from a melter. Yeah. Let's see. Um, see, I, I can't do patterns yet, so I don't know. How do I get this achievement then? Oh, I've got to get through to it first. I see. I got to do this one first. Prospect. Craft a weak dowsing rod to help you locate ore. Okay. Let's go do that first. That's, that's what I forgot to do. I skipped a step. Okay. So weak dousing rod. That is with three wood and two sticks. I think I can handle that pretty easy. Actually, I've got it on me. So one, two, three, and you two. This probably would have been helpful when I was looking for the tin, huh? So what does this do? Um, nothing of interest up to 48 bucks. Okay, so let's go test this out over here. In our, where's my hole? My hole is over here. Where was it at? Is it, oh, there it is. Okay. So, nothing of interest. Ah, found teal light. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Okay, so two blocks below. Four blocks below. That, what? Oh, maybe that's what's in range. There's four in range. But what is in range? Okay, so we're gonna go test this thing out a little bit more. Okay, and oh, I got to fill all these blocks back in or I'm not going to be able to Wait, can I make that? Oh, I can cool Cool, 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 cool. So that's okay. So let's go down I'm curious as to So now it says eight I don't understand how this little thing works. I will figure it out like it'll start making sense eventually Come on. There we go. I need, I need it to make sense. So I know what to do with it. But right now it's not making any sense to me because up on the surface, it said two. Then I got a little bit further down. It said four, got a lot further down and it only said eight. So I'm curious as to how this really works. Um, can I do this to cobblestone too? That's a good test right here. Can I create stairs on them? Okay, cool. I can. Cool. What about the andesite? Can I do that? Or whatever this one is. Dorite, andesite. Oh, wait, this is... Yeah, this is andesite. I think I said the right name. This is so cool. I can just make ladders wherever I want. Um, let's put you there. I am so pumped up about this right now. This is so cool. I did not expect to... Sorry, I just got a text message that I was trying to read. So unprofessional. I did not expect to be this productive. This is really, really cool. I, I wanted to get some stuff done, but it looks like... I don't know. We're just getting way more than I had ever expected. And... 
this I I'm I don't know about you guys, but this whole like creating my own ladder thing. This is so simple. It's so nice not having to like, you know, make ladders all the time. We just kind of chip into the side and then I don't have to fill this hole again. But this is a pretty deep hole to have to keep going up and down. Um, well, this is where, oh, I would just have to fill all this in. Okay. So we'll do this. Almost to the point where we went in. Pretty close, right? Not far. Not far. Um, are you still in range? Please be in range. Good. Good. Okay. Let's finish stacking this. And get down there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, you're taking forever. Okay. Um, where's that little tool at? So what does the tool say now? It still says eight. I wonder if eight is like a good number. Like you're getting, I don't know. It doesn't really seem, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Maybe, I hope you guys can explain it to me a little bit better because it just keeps saying eight and that's not seeming to be very helpful for me. But you know, I depend on you guys <clears throat> when, when it comes down to this stuff because you guys know this stuff way better than I do. Um, and how this stuff works. Hopefully, sometimes I show you new stuff that you didn't know about. That's why I do hope for that every now and then. <laughs> but you guys always seem to know way more than I do. And all your tips and tricks and all that stuff are always very, very helpful. Um, okay, so I must have gone deeper than I did last time because we're here. We're standing on the tin stuff, so. Oh my gosh, there's just so much of it. This is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Well, we, at least we've got our ladder all the way down so we can get to it whenever we need to. But I don't want to spend all my time just getting tin. Like, that would just be silly. So, we're going to head back up. And it looks like it's nighttime again. Hopefully, there's no creepers that are going to jump in my hole. Because that was very upsetting. And unsettling. And quite unfair, I think. There was no reason for that creeper just to jump in this hole. None whatsoever. Alright, and my house is over here. And we will go sleep the night off again. I guess I don't need to use my bed. I'm going to use the TP tonight. Oh, hello, Mr. Wolfie. Can you tame the dire wolves? I wonder. I've got a ton of bones. I want to go try to tame this dire wolf. If I can have a pet out in the wilderness, that would be awesome. So let's go over to this. I've got 27 bones. Can you tame a dire wolf or is he going to kill me? Can I tame you or are you going to kill me? Here, you want a bone? Hey, 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 I'm friendly. I'm trying to give you food. Can I give you food? Okay, so you just want me to stay away. Okay, so I can't tame you. Do you like raw? I, I would love to have a pet. Like having a pet right now would be awesome. I can't give you a bone? You don't want a bone? No? Okay, yeah, he's literally shaking his head. No, okay. Okay, I'll leave you alone. You do your thing, I'll do mine. We'll just be neighbors. Okay. All right. I'll go back in the house. As a matter of fact, now that I got a furnace, can I make glass? I haven't tried yet. Oh, I need to go and grab some of my tiny charcoal back. Let's just leave some of it here. And let's go try to make up some glass. Can I make glass? Not in the furnace, I can't. Can I make glass in here, though? That's not the tool I want. My inventory is all sorts of full again. Let me grab you. Can I make glass in you? Is that doable? Why is this freaking meat always in there? Um, let me pick you up. Hey, get back here. 
and I've got no inventory space. Okay, let's put some items back here. Um, you, you, good enough right now. Let's take this stuff out. Does it have to be a bare hand, really? No, I did not want to set you down. That's the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. I wanted to pick you up and put you in my inventory. And what are you? Are you cooked? Okay, let's let's just eat the meat. Shark meat, I, you can eat whenever. I think that's kind of cheaty, but you get your protein up to like 100% guaranteed. Do you make glass? Do you make glass? Since the stone or the the whatever that thing's called doesn't. Do you make glass? It doesn't look like it. How do I get glass? Can I get glass yet? I should probably look that up. I can't even make glass yet. Okay, so no windows. Can I make a door at least? I can make a door. Let us make a door. Do I have any planks to make a door? I've got two. Let's go get some planks. Let's put a door on our house. Feel a little bit more at home if I have a door on my house. And my inventory is so full. Okay. Oh, I got another book. Field manual for Geolith. Whatever that is. Okay, cool. And let's get you and put you over here. No, why do you always break when I do that? So annoying. You on here. Go. Do your thing. Make me up some planks so I can put a door on my house. And, oh, and then the tin's complete. Okay, cool. Ooh. The kiln from immersive engineering. I think that's how you make alloys, right? I believe so. Well, I think I think it's been pretty productive today. Um, we're getting some stuff done. Come on, where are the planks? There they go. Really? You just now made one plank? That took a while. Um... Come on, I need two more. Two more. Come on, Buffalo, hurry up. Yeah, yeah, faster. Sorry, didn't mean to get in your way. Go. There we go. Okay, let us go make a door. Hey, give me those planks back. There we go. On our house, and I'll feel a little happier about our situation where we can hide because apparently you can't be friends with a dire wolf. I mean, who knew, right? So let's make a door, get three of them. And we're gonna put you right there. There we go. Feeling a little more quaint now. We've got a door. I feel a little bit better about things. This is, this is progress. This is progress. Um, plum, use the plumb line to discover your, oh. Oh, how do we make a plumb line? Let's look at that real quick. Can't be too expensive, can it? A bolt of string and a rock. Okay, that rock works. Okay, how do I make that? That is with... So I'm going to need uh, 16 string and 6 sticks. Super easy. Except I'm like so full on my inventory. Let's throw some stuff away. <laughs> okay, you go away. I don't need you. I don't need dirt stairs. I uh, don't want the marble. Um... Don't need the seeds. Don't need plant fibers. I've got the rock. And yeah, okay. <coughs> Sticks. Well, I'm going to need two more, aren't I? And string. I'm going to need to make some. Not a problem. I've got my trusty knife right here. We'll just make up a little bit. Okay. And we'll put you back in there. And so, it was three of these. One, two. And then I'm going to need 16 of these. One, two. And got the rock. So, one, two, and... Where's Mark? There it is. A plum. Okay. So, how does this thing work? Oh, you just press right click and it tells you what your Y level is. Okay. That's pretty simple. That is definitely going to be a useful tool when we're trying to figure out depth and we don't have access to our uh, F3 cords. So, awesome. 
I think today was pretty successful. I mean, there was no specific objective other than just trying to get some stuff done. I am going to start working on uh, trying to get a farm up here, but I don't know. Are buckets an option yet? Oh, buckets are an option. Cool. So I can make just a clay bucket and can I make a clay bucket? Can I make? So the bucket itself is unfamiliar. Huh. So I can't make a bucket yet. And all that's unfamiliar. Unfired clay bucket. Okay. What are its uses? It can turn back into clay or it can smelt into that. Okay. We can make a bucket. I can move water. I can move water now. Let's do that really quick. I just want to move my first thing of water first. Um, of course, I only have two clay. <laughs> Let's go get a third piece of clay. Let's make our bucket. It's like right in an hour right now. Oh my gosh. I was so, oh, I just picked up all that garbage. Just picked up all that garbage. You go away. You go away. You go away. You go away. Um, the rest of you, you go away. The rest of you, I still have two spindles. Oh, did it make more than one? I didn't notice. Um, clay. I know I saw some sitting around here somewhere. Is that clay right there? No, that's clay right there though. Hopefully there's no sharks in this area as I go down to do this. Cool. Got the clay. Didn't need a lot. Let's get out of here before something kills me. If we can relocate water up on top, that would be awesome. I don't... I know that this is an ocean biome, so the water... Oh my god, I did it again. Um, the water is infinite in those biomes. I don't know if I can create an infinite spring in those biomes, though. Wait, what was the recipe for the bucket? How do I make you? On a turntable. How do I make a turntable? With a copper gear, which is a stone gear and copper plates. Okay, so that's going to have to wait till next time because we just don't have enough time and I don't want to go too far over. I've kept it pretty close to an hour, so I'm happy with that. But we did find tin. We've got a bed. We've got a lot of useful stuff going on. And I'm having fun. Like, this, I'm definitely not about trying to like hurry up through this. I want to actually build a world. That's really what I'm going for here because the slow roll to it and everything is just really, really cool. Oops. And I'm kind of enjoying it. Now, I am curious as to what you guys think about how the build's going and if it looks cool or if it looks silly. You guys tell me. I want to know the truth. But until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slaughter Havoc and I am out of here. Peace.